Hi everybody, we've got a subsidy to solve positive externality in production. If this question came up, how would you draw the diagram to show the subsidy? Well, we start by labeling the axis. So we have price, costs, and benefits on the y-axis, all must be labeled, and quantity on the x-axis. Then we start by drawing the positive externality in production diagram, which looks like this. There is no issue with benefits, so MSB is equal to MPB equal to D. We have NPC over there, and we have MSC like that. We want to show the private optimum, that's Q1 and P1. We can leave that one there for now. Now we want to show the impact of the subsidy. All right? So draw that, practice doing that to start with, then it's the subsidy. A subsidy shifts the MPC curve downwards because costs of production for businesses are then lower. We're going to assume in this video that the subsidy is perfect, that because of the subsidy we get to the socially optimum level of quantity, which is going to be what MSC equals MSB. We're going to get to that level of quantity here. So for that to happen, um, the MPC curve is going to shift downwards to equal the MSC. So what you need to do is to add on MSC, which equals MPC, plus sub. Adding that on implies that there is a subsidy that shifted this curve downwards, which means that a new equilibrium is formed. And what you might want to do is label this Q star and label this P star to imply that we've hit the socially optimum level perfectly, both quantity and price perfectly here. Alright, that's the diagram done. Once you've done that, go through your mental checklist. Have you done your good habits? Have you labelled the axis? Yes. Have you labelled your curves perfectly? showing the subsidy, that's important, yes. Have you labelled the equilibria? Yes. Good. Have you shown that there is a, a private optimum and there is a different social optimum that we've moved towards? No. Now this is a trick and I did this on purpose. All my videos so far have been perfect, everything fine, but hopefully you noticed that a mistake was made here. What have I missed? The arrow. Looking at this diagram you might think, ah, this is just like a market failure diagram, right? There is no change in quantity and price. The uh, two different quantities tell you two different things. Well, no. On this diagram, there has been a change in price and a change in quantity. All right, so it's important that you don't forget to put on those arrows, okay? The real test is, oh, did I miss that on purpose or did I actually forget to do it myself, right? <laughs> I'll leave that one to you, for you to decide. But look, a lower price and a higher quantity has now been shown, okay? So the arrow is fundamental there. Have you made sure the diagram is big, at least half the page, drawn in pencil and using a ruler, make sure you've done that as well. And the diagram is done and you can move on to your analysis. Thanks for watching folks, see you for the next video.